Stephen A. Smith weighing now on the Lakers' decision to send an 11-time championship winner uh, packing, ending the negotiations in midstream with him and choosing instead uh, Mike D'Antoni. Your initial thoughts? My initial thought was complete and utter shock. I couldn't believe that this decision was made. And listen, Mike D'Antoni can coach the game of basketball. Anybody that thinks that this man doesn't belong in the NBA as a head coach. They're being cruel, they're being insensitive, and quite, quite honestly misinformed. He deserves to be coaching in the NBA. But that's not the question here. The question is whether or not he's the right man for the job to coach the Los Angeles Lakers. And I would say to you, absolutely positively not. I don't Why not? Think, because the man doesn't prioritize with defense. And because you look at the roster, Kobe Bryant is in the 17th season. He's, 13, he's 34 years of age. Steve Nash is 38 years old. Dwight Howard is relatively young, but Pau Gasol is 32 years of age. You look at those guys, of the vast majority of their roster are not filled with young spring chickens. They're running at this frenetic pace up and down the floor. That's number one. You don't have that. Number two, they're not, they don't have a bevy of perimeter shooters. That's a problem, number two. Number three, let's look at Mike D'Antoni's system. You're talking about whether it's step up, high screen and rolls or what have you. You're going to put Dwight Howard in those pick and roll situations. This is basically the Los Angeles Lakers saying, Dwight Howard, we have absolutely no faith whatsoever in your post game. That's what they're saying because with Mike D'Antoni's system, you're certainly not going to be doing that. Therefore, what you're going to have to do is create space for Dwight Howard and Steve Nash to operate in a pick-and-roll situation. In order to do that, you're going to have to get rid of Pau Gasol because Pau Gasol being there, that Locking doesn't lend middle. itself towards that happening. It's too clogged. So you're going to see guys jacking up shots, and let me get to the defense. Before me, right in front of me, I have the defensive stats of Mike D'Antoni throughout his entire career. 2003 to uh, up until last year when he was with Phoenix, averaging 58 wins a season, Scoring, being one of the leading offenses in the game, but defensively, 26th, dead last, 28th, 23rd, 25th. That's with Phoenix. With the Knicks, 28th, 28th, and 28th. All three years. And, oh, by the way, they were dead last in field goal percentage defense in 2009-2010. This man does not preach defense. This man does not care about defense. This man's definition of defense is more offense. These are things. This is not an insult. This is not to cast aspersions on Mike D'Antoni. This is speaking fact. This is what it is. So you combine all of those things that I just told you. Offensively, you're jacking up shots. You're playing at a frenetic pace with an age-old roster. Defense, basically, your definition of defense is more offense. And you're talking that this is a justification to pass up on an 11-time champion with a system that is tried, true, and tested? This is your explanation for it? I don't know who the Lakers think they're talking to when they're trying to sell this. But clearly, clearly, I don't think this is going to fly with Laker fans because they're too intelligent to buy it. They're and, too intelligent and, and to buy it. And we just heard Jeff Van Gundy uh -uh. say right. any sort of notion that it's difficult, especially as early as we are in yes. the season, to it's implement nonsense. the triangle offense when you have four players on right. your offense, including Gasol yeah. and Kobe, right. uh, two tenants of that offense that yeah. are very familiar with the triangle. Right. He disabuses that notion. So yes. if you're saying that Mike D'Antoni is not the best fit for this team simply because of X's and O's and the personnel on the floor, right. then what other factors in your estimation went into this decision to well, pass up on Phil Jackson. I believe and I, and I don't know for sure. I've heard it from a multitude of people and you hear different varying reports or what have you. But being that I was working in L.A. with the radio show, uh, knowing that people that I know within the Lakers organization having some inkling of the history involving Jim Buss and Phil Jackson, definitely that had something to do with this. Because you have to remember, Phil Jackson didn't just want the money, which is really in the end of, at the end of the day, the Lakers could stomach that because he deserves it. And that but apparently when, had never even that's really right. been discussed. When, when, exactly. Numbers. When you're talking about when you talk about Phil Jackson coming back to the Lakers and wanting more cachet and basketball personnel decisions, Phil Jackson respects Mitch Kupchak. Anybody that knows anything about basketball respects the job that Mitch Kupchak has done. But you don't necessarily feel that way about Jim Buss. He's got the job. His daddy is the man in charge, okay? He handed that power down to his son. Everybody doesn't like his son. Far more people don't respect his son. Whether that's fair or not is not for me to say because I don't know the man personally. I'm just no, I just know what people have said about it. So when Phil Jackson sits there and says, I want more power with basketball decisions, what he's really saying is, I don't want to have to answer to you. Jim Buss. And that may have definitely factored into the equation. The last point I would say about it is this. If you remember, when the Los Angeles Lakers decided to move away from the Shaquille O'Neal era, Dr. Buss, Jerry Buss, said he wanted to change the system. He didn't want to throw it down in the post, you know, posting up, going to the free throw line, slowing it. Showtime is what he wanted. More up-tempo game. This lends itself towards that as well.
Uh, we will see if they have the success that the Suns have or if this will oh. turn out to be more like the Knicks situation. Oh, please don't get me wrong. They will win regular season games. The question is with this roster, are you going to win a championship? And I submit to you, no. Has no. never made it past no. the Western Conference Finals. Uh, Mike D'Antoni, uh, Stephen A. Smith, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank, Thank you. you.